Morning everyone. Look at this spot. Woohoo! Bay of Fires, Tasmania. Literally a stone's throw to the beach. Anyway, this video is going to be about me fitting a 70 litre water bladder to my 2016 Ford Ranger. So please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press that notification button if you want to watch all the other future videos that I'll be posting online. Any comments below guys and I'll answer any questions that you ask. Let's roll that intro. Okie dokie, so me and Sarah and the kids have been on the road for just over two months now. We're currently in Melbourne at the minute. We're waiting to board the ferry in Tasmania. Sorry, well, in Melbourne to go to Tasmania. Um, and we are currently traveling in the Jayco Journey Outback. It's the 22681, has a double bunks. Um, we've currently got two 90 litre tanks on board for the water and one waste great water tank as well which is 90 litres um, we've basically been a little bit short of water so i've been doing a little bit of research to get some extra water on board um, and i've come across a place on called FlexiMake, um, and they do bladders that fit in to a Ford Ranger. Um, now I've got a 2016 model Ford Ranger. Uh, it's a wild track um, and they specifically make these water bladders to sit behind the rear seats of the Ford Ranger which is the 2015 and above. Um, so I'm not sure if they fit in the old ones you'd have to check with them but basically I'm going to be fitting this water bladder behind the rear seats. Um, now the recommendations for this is that you take out the jack and the tools behind the rear seat and basically I need to fold these metal arms in to make sure there's no sharp objects to pierce the bladder so I'm going to do that and I'll show you a video of all of that when I'm doing it now um, I went and picked up this flexi mate well sorry I went to pick up the bladder yesterday at flexi mate which is in um, Dandenong um, they were very helpful and they said oh, I can pick it up from the store because they had plenty in stock So I went down there and um, they actually gave me ten dollars off because I picked it up myself Now this retails at at the moment. It was three twenty nine. I got it for two hundred and seventy dollars So then they took ten dollars off so two hundred and sixty dollars, which I think is pretty good actually for a 70 litre Water bladder that sits behind the seat. You don't have to worry about it um, Now they also looked after me and they gave me some extra red material here, which is the same PVC material um, to basically put over the sharp objects um, in the back of the uh, seat there. So that was awfully nice of them to do that. Now this is what it looks like. As you can see there, I've just got it set out on the table. I've gone through the instructions already, so I'm hoping I'm going to get everything correct. Now it comes with uh, 230mm pipes, 125mm pipe all your fixture and fittings for it. Now these metal bars here are basically what go into your child seat restraint um, bolts in the rear of the car and you basically do a v-shape like that and that's where your bladder fixes to these metal strips here. Um, some other interesting points for this is that it's rated at 900 GSM reinforced PVC material now that means, I didn't know what it meant, so I had to quickly Google it, and it actually means grams per square inch of material. Um, so that's the actual grey material there. Um, it comes with a two year warranty and it is Australian made, which is a big, big bonus. I love things that are locally made, especially in Australia as well, so that's awesome. Alright, let's get into it, eh? Alrighty, so like I just said earlier, the first thing I need to be doing is basically making sure that there's no sharp pieces of metal that are going to pierce the bladder once I put it in there and it gets filled up. The last thing you need obviously is uh, the bladder leaking of 70 litres of water into the car. So first thing I'm going to do is basically bend these up. Now that's obviously your personal choice if you don't want to do that. They recommend that you can either put some hard material there or some sort of carpet. That's, uh... The four pieces of metal that stick out, one there, one there, 
there and there. I've just flattened them down so they're no longer protruding which could potentially pierce the bladder. Um, now these are the two child restraint bolts that they wish for you to fit the um, metal strips to. Which I'll go and grab the metal strips. Like I said, from the instructions, you just need to make a V. Obviously, you'll be able, you'll just have to adjust them once they're in place to where the holes align with the bladder. Let's do that, shall we? Um, I'll come to realize that they need to be the opposite way. And the reason for that is so then the protruding pieces can actually fit onto here. And like, so you're hanging the bag onto the hook, let's say there. So I'm just gonna quickly spin them around just so it's right, because we can't have it wrong. Correct now, I'm just putting the child restraint bolt back in. Now, if you physically don't need this piece to strain in your child's baby seat, then there's no need to put it back in and put that back in instead of having the whole thing in there. It's obviously another less thing to worry about that could potentially pierce the bladder. So that's what I'm gonna do and that's what I'm gonna do. Now, some of you are probably wondering whether this can actually um, be utilized whilst having the child seats restrained at the same time. Now don't quote me on this, I did um, did a bit of research prior to purchasing this and they did say on a forum that it can actually be used with your child restraints if you still need to bolt them into the rear. Um, so just double check that prior to purchasing if that's what you've still got in your car. We can't really have child seats but we don't have to physically restrain them to the rear. Um, our children are six and eight, so um, we can just use the belt, which is what we're doing. One other tip, guys, is basically they recommend that when you do put all this in and then when you fill it, that you keep the seat upright when you're filling it. Don't put the seat down because the bladder will fill from the bottom and it'll just create a, a belly, let's say, at the bottom. So they highly recommend that when you do fill it up, that the seat's locked in and then it fills up and it actually squeezes into all the crevices but the voids are there so the water then fills in nice and neat right uh, so i've just cut that roughly to, to the length that i want which is basically the rear of the cabin so while i'm trying to do this i'll just explain as well um, flexi make do a heap of different bladders to suit all different sort of vehicles um, i like this one because it's hidden i don't have to worry about it um, they do actually ones that go in the footwells behind the seats here as well. So please check out their website, flexamate.com.au. Um, and I am not being sponsored for this video, by the way. And the good thing about um, all of the other bladders as well, you get some that go in the back of the ute. Um, obviously, when you're not using it, you can just fold it down and store it away. Um, I like this one because it stays up. I don't have to worry about it once I've finished using it and I'm not going to be using it for a little while I can just empty it out flush it out with nice fresh clean water and let it sit there right now so that's in place so basically I just need to get an extra bit it's gonna go down the bottom here just to cover this little bit of metal material down here I've also got a bit of metal material down the bottom where the jack was sat so I'm just gonna make sure that that red material this same PVC material covers that part as well Right, so the guy in the shop actually recommended that you fit all the um, pipes onto the bladder prior to putting it into the car because it gets a little bit too tight in there and obviously a little bit more awkward. So I'm going to do that now. Right, oh, so I've just fitted all the pipes. Now the top one here, as you can see, is basically your air pipe. So whenever you fill the bladder, it has a little cap on the top there. So just make sure you take that off when you're actually filling it. Because obviously when you fill it from the bottom, air is going to build inside. And that air gets pushed out of this little hose here. Now I'm assuming that you can actually cut this to whatever length you need 
Um, I'm just going to keep it as is at the moment until I get it in. Once I've got it in, I will then determine how long I physically want that bit of pipe. And the next one is the filler. So this is your filler. This is the 25 mil fitting hose. This is where you're going to obviously fill it up with water. Now, just for your interest, this actually fits a normal hose connection. So that's the same thread. So you can put that on, and then obviously clip your hose on right there, which is easy and very simple to do. And just again, it's just got another cap, so obviously once you've filled it up, you just tighten that back on, and away you go. And then last but not least is the bottom one. This is obviously if you want to drink from the tank itself. Um, so basically it's just like a hose, it's just a tap, sorry. You can switch on and off. Same thing again, you can obviously cut that to whatever length you desire. Um, I'm just going to keep it as is at the moment until I get it in and see where I need that. Now, you can buy a pump, a 12 volt pump for these. I don't need one. Um, I am basically bought this bladder so when I run out of water on the tanks in the caravan, I can physically just drive to the most close to the nearest um, water collection, um, fill up the bladder, which is 70 litres, and then just drive back to the caravan, connect the hose, and then let it drain into the tank of the caravan. One little thing, it actually has a cutout here for when you need to um, lock the uh, rear seat back in. So I've forgotten that, so make sure you do that. Um, I'm just gonna physically just unscrew that and just make a piercing for that to slot in. So in theory, I should have put that over there to start with and then aligned where these brackets were gonna go. I just basically made it equal either side thinking that was the way but physically you need to get this in there right so i'll just show you down here you can see that that screw is basically just touching the back of the plastic so i'm going to actually physically cut that off so it gives me a little more a little bit more leeway when i push the chair back rather than it smacking into that crack in it and so unclipped a little bit of brutal force and it's locked in there so this is a breather pipe at the top so it's obviously quite long it doesn't need to be that long all it is is a breather pipe so you can cut that off to your desired length really I'm just probably gonna leave it about six inches long I'd say like I said that's the filler pipe that's hanging down there quite nice actually so I might just leave that as is at the moment and see how I go if I have any issues with that then i will uh, cut it up to make it a bit shorter and then last but not least the uh, the tap down at the bottom um, that sticks out quite a bit but obviously when you're not using it you could physically just tuck it up behind somewhere or put it underneath the seat there um, i think at the point at the moment i'm just going to leave that as is right now so i've got my normal hose fitting connection the standard one that you just use at home Screw this on. Nice hand tight. Plug her in. I'll go switch her on. Let me know if it leaks. Now the gentleman did say to me, he said basically when you're filling it up, you'll know when it's full because basically water will start coming up through the air pipe. So as soon as you start seeing it come through the air pipe, switch her off, put the air gap, the air cap back on, and you're good to go. Right now, so I can hear it filling up. No leaks at the moment, so that's a bonus. So obviously the air, arrows at the top has got no cap on it. You need to make sure you do that, otherwise it's just going to bellow out. You physically feel the air coming out of the top. So there you have it guys, um, the water bladder's in. We've decided not to fill it again, um, just because we don't need to carry the extra weight at this point in time. So um, if you like what you watched and you want to see more, 
give us a thumbs up if you like it leave anything in the comments below and we'll see you on the next one thanks guys thanks for watching